Recovery and Repair of Tree Stands William Hovey Smith, 2011 I'm Hovey Smith, a backyard sportsman, and today we're going to talk about the recovery and repair of tree stands. Well, I've had a tree stand out here in the deep woods, and I'm about a mile from the road, and guess what happened to it? The rodents are eating it up. So they gnawed on the nylon straps, they've gnawed on the seat, so I'm going to have to take this home and repair it. This is the elusive whitetail tree stand. Now I've got it on this sled because they also cut the straps. Now, well, I'm going to take it home and I'm going to fix it. And I'm also going to show you how to repair a tree lounge, ground lounge, that has a twisted frame. Now because it's still hunting season, I'm not coming out here in the woods without something to shoot with. So, we brought the Thompson Center Mountain Magnum 12 gauge shotgun in case I should happen to see a squirrel or maybe even a goose out here and the Ruger Old Army percussion pistol. Now, I've already shot a deer this year with the Ruger Old Army and you can see a separate series of videos on that. Well right now we're going to get this thing out of here and get it home so we can start working on it. I have the tree stand well secured with a bungee cord in the back and the straps from my shooting bag in the front. No, that's not going anywhere. Well, we're back at the truck. Let's load her up and get her home. This is part of the damage that the rodents did. Without that strap, you cannot lift the foot piece. We have completed our repairs to the soft parts of the elusive white tail tree stand that was made by Tree Lounge after the rodents had consumed them. Well, at least cut them and carried them off. Uh, this was what was left of one of the straps. They actually don't eat nylon, but they probably used it for nest materials. So what we did is we had some more nylon strap and we cut it and we reattached it here, and we reattached it here, and so that fixed this. They also cut and removed the string. Now this is necessary for pulling these straps out when you're sitting in the seat so you can get your feet underneath the buckles. So that's what that did. When you're working nylon, if you've not used the material before, it cuts fairly easily with the scissors, like yay, but after you cut it, you need to seal the edges. And you do that very simply. Just take a match or candle, and then you burn these edges and melt them. Now they will flame if you have the heat too long, like that did. Now don't touch this, because this is very hot will stick to the skin and give you a very nasty burn. So, that being done, we have that part finished. You will also recall that the rodents ate a hole in my cushion, right here. So what we did is we had some cloth from an old shirt that was worn out. So we folded this cloth so we have a smooth edge here, and then we stitched it up and we used an ordinary needle and fishing line to stitch around this entire pack and also put a cross stitch here just to hold it in place indefinitely. So we've done an effective repair here and now this stand can go out in the woods and I can use it. Next, we're going to take a look at the ground lounge which has a bent frame and looks more like the traditional tree lounge tree stand. At tree lounge, they use the same tubular materials in all of their stands, so that's standard. So if you have a bent tree lounge of the regular pattern, you'll be able to repair it just like I'm doing on this ground lounge. The parts I repaired are the seat from the upper part of the climbing stand and the foot piece. 
Now this is a regular tree lounge climbing stand. You'll notice that it uses some of the same components as the ground lounge, which is the one that I broke. As you can see, the ground lounge has suffered some injury. Uh, one half of it is okay, but the other half has one very badly bent limb, the other slightly bent, plus the hinges have been broken. So now we have basically a flat seat. And I'll let you take a closer look at it. All right. You can see the most bent arm here. So I'm going to cut this and replace it with actually a piece of wood. And then on the hinges, see what we can do about replacing that functionality. Progress has been made. We've used this saber saw here to cut the legs of the stand and remove the bent section. And what we're going to do is replace the missing section with this one inch dowel. This still leaves us with a problem of replacing the functionality of this hinge, which was welded on the lower half of the stand. But I think we can do that one too. More progress. Indeed. Uh, we have taken the dowel and it has already been driven all the way down to here. So that's about as far as it can go. So the next step is to actually seat this part of the dowel up to about here. So what I'm going to do is to use this to drive it all the way to here and then we'll see if we need to further affix it in position by putting in some steel cross pins. Things are looking a little bit more nearly right now. We have the dowel in and it's seated all the way down good. Now I may have to tweak this just a little bit in this direction to get everything square and I'm going to do that and then I'm certainly going to put a pin here after I make that adjustment to hold the dowel in this position and probably one in here as well and then we'll start worrying about how to get this hinge to work so that the tree stand will fold up again for easy carry. I think that most people would agree that we have something that looks more like a tree stand now in that I have the limb on it, I have the limbs connected, and when I trim this bolt, then we'll actually be able to put it up against a tree and try. But things are looking reasonably good. Well, the time has come. Will it work? I want it. Well, we did get it so it will fold up. So it'll do that. Now, we'll see if we can get it unfolded and actually use it and sit in it. Okay, that's doing fairly well. Got us a good tree. Okay, braced against the tree. And here it goes. Yeah, I think we got a success. Now this is a close-up of the ground lounge after it was repaired. And you can see the stick that I used. Now I'm mostly known as the author of Backyard Deer Hunting, Converting Deer to Dunner for Pennies per Pound. Now you could have used many other techniques to repair a stand like this. You could have welded it or straightened the tubing. Now the trick is to use whatever tools you have to get the job done. Because the deer is not going to care. Now for more information on hunting, go to my website, www hoviesmith.com and find my books, blogs, videos, and radio show, Hovey's Outdoor Adventures. Good hunting and good eating from the outdoors.